In this video we will see how to add a confetti animation. So first add this confetti package as a dependency. Then we will create the confetti controller variable. Now inside the init state we will initialize the confetti controller like this and give it a duration of 800 millisecond which is the time of the confetti animation. With all this said now let's start building the confetti animation. Now here as you can see I have added a stack with an elevated button which we will use to start the confetti animation. So inside the on press we will add confetti controller dot play. Now let's add the confetti. So below here I will add an align widget and we can use the alignment to show the confetti animation from the top or bottom or from the light or left. Now give it a child of confetti widget and there are a lot of parameters that we can alter to customize the confetti to our liking. But first of all we will pass the confetti controller and now if we hot restart the application we will see the confetti animation whenever we pressed on the start button. But at the moment it only triggers in the right direction which looks kind of boring. So let's spice it up by making some customization. So first we will add the blast direction which represents the direction of the confetti. So by default the blast direction is pi which is 180 degrees. So if we look in the mathematical terms the 180 represents the left direction. The 0 represents the right direction and pi by 2 which is 90 degree represents the downward direction and minus pi by 2 or we can also use 3 pi by 2 which is 270 degrees to represent the upward direction. And this way we cover a whole circle and we can blast in any direction simply by specifying the angle. Then we have the emission frequency which represents the likelihood of a particle being emitted on a single frame and it has a default value of 0 0.02 which in simple term means that the likelihood of any particle being shown is 2% and then we have the number of particles which represents the number of particles emitted per emission. Now to better understand this two value let's hot restart the application first and as we click on the start we see two emissions of four particles and if we click again we see a single emission of four particles. Now if you want to emit the particle continuously, for that let's increase the emission frequency to 0.2 and we see a volcano of confetti. Now if you want to increase the confetti number, first let's revert the emission frequency to 0.02 and increase the number of particles to 20. And now as we click on the start, we will see a blast of confettis, which should be 20. Now just for fun, if we increase the emission frequency as well to 0.2, we really get a lot of confettis. Now after that we have the blast directionality and assign its value to blast directionality dot explosive. And that's it. Let's hot restart the application. And when we click on the start, we will see a blast where the confettis are emitted from the center. Then we have gravity. Yes, one that Newton discovered. Now the default value of the gravity is 0.2. Now you have seen the default value behavior up till now. So let's increase it to 0.9 and as I click and you will see the confettis are falling very fast. Now let's change the value to 0.1 to see the other side and as I click you can see the confettis are falling at much slower pace which looks nice and the last properties is colors where we can change the colors of the confetti by passing a list of colors and that's pretty much. Thanks for watching and do check out our course on mastering notification links in the description.